Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm with Fidipides, and this is Shoe Secrets with Fidipides. And I got a special guest, uh, Weston Galloway with uh, ASICS. And what would you say your title is? My title is Global Product Line Manager for Performance Running. And what does that exactly mean? What do you do? I We talk with a lot of consumers and we concept the shoes and then we go through uh, design and development and deal with marketing and then bring them to market to wonderful stores like Fidipides. Excellent. And one of the biggest things that we uh, we have some of our consumers, from some of our customers wonder is what, what exactly goes into the process of innovating or changing a shoe? Yeah, I mean it's obviously one of the you know things that some people like and some people don't like about a new model coming out but really uh, it all starts with the consumer so coming into stores like like Fidipides and talking with uh, people at the stores and talking with consumers about what they like about the shoe, what they don't like about the shoe, our models and then other models that kind of play into the same categorization um, and how we can develop our products to better fit these consumers needs. So whether uh, it's about cushioning or it's about stability or it's about just the um, the experience they have in the shoe, we obviously always want to make a better experience in the shoe, but not taking away from what people have come to love about our shoes. So, would you say would you say when Asics innovates a shoe, it's it's usually pretty drastic, or does it stay pretty conservative? Would you no, say? I mean at Asics, we have a very um, yeah, it's a pretty conservative manner of updating shoes so we want to really stay true to the heritage of the shoe and and we know there have been people that have been running in say the nimbus it's going to be um the 19th one will come out here in, in a couple months and so i mean there have been people that are running in all 19 versions of the nimbus or 18 so um we want to stay true to that consumer and and have the elements of the shoe that they've come to love but through our Institute of Sports uh, Science in, in Kobe, Japan, or through talking with runners in Atlanta, Georgia, we want to bring something new and innovative and that's really gonna be great for the runner in that new iteration. Do you think if you find uh, the feedback from customers or, or from folks in run specialty that, that a certain element of a shoe needs to be changed drastically, will ASICs introduce a new model uh, to, to kind of complement that, that, that need or will it be a change to an inline model that you have or does it depend? Yeah, it just depends. I mean, if it's something that's like kind of drastically outside of the realm of what say the Nimbus is, mm -hmm. then we would want to create a product that really fits the need so of that totally consumer. So a totally new shoe. So a totally new consumer. But if it's still within uh, the realm of possibilities of what has come you know that the consumers have come to love about the Nimbus, but maybe they they wanted a little lighter weight. Mm. So, for instance, in the in the 19, we put flight foam in there to make it a little bit lighter weight, but, but still with max cushioning. But still okay. with max gotcha. cushioning, exactly. Still with all of the gel, all of the um, creature comforts that you've come to expect for the Nimbus, but evolving it just by little pieces so that we take it kind of to the next level. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much, Weston. And that's just a little snippet into uh, one company's okay. rationale or reason for innovating or changing a shoe and, and how that's done. Thank you for watching.